Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm talking about the dreaded burn notice that you get on your Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen and I am one of the sisters from Six Sister Stuff. Now every Monday I usually share an Instant Pot recipe with you, but I was getting so many comments about the lovely burn notice that I thought I'd make a video just for you guys to help you out a little bit when that lovely sign appears. So there are about six major issues of why you are seeing the burn, like the burn notice on your Instant Pot. So I'm gonna get into it. So the first issue is that food is stuck to the bottom of your Instant Pot. Now this is very common when you're using the saute button. If you use the saute button and say that you're sauteing meat or even onions, you'll get stuff stuck to the bottom of your pot. Now if you put everything else on when that stuff is still stuck on the bottom, then that means you are gonna see the burn notice or at least very likely gonna see the burn notice. So the solution. The solution is, is that all you have to do is before you put all the rest of your food in, if you've used your saute button, you're just gonna pour a little bit of liquid in and just scrape it with like a wooden spoon or something to just get that bottom burned layer off. Just having that little burn layer will cause your Instant Pot to burn. Issue number two. Now, sometimes steam is releasing from either your knob or out the sides. So the problem with that is that your knob is either not turned to sealing, it's on venting, or your ring inside of your Instant Pot is not on correctly. That can cause your Instant Pot to not cook correctly. So the solution with that is if you get a burn notice and you're not sure what's going on, make sure you check your little knob, make sure it's on sealing, not venting, and make sure that your sealing ring is on really tight. Now, chances are that it had already burned on the bottom, so make sure you get a spoon and just start scraping away and that will hopefully help your burn notice. Issue number three, there's not enough liquid in your Instant Pot. Now, I don't really need to say much more about that, but every time you use your Instant Pot, you need to have about a fourth a cup to a cup of some sort of liquid, whether it's chicken broth, water, something like that, so you'll, your pot will be able to pressurize. Now, lots of times when people are cooking rice, there's not enough liquid in there that they'll see the burn notice. So. If you see the burn notice and there's not enough liquid in there, go ahead, again, you gotta scrape your bottom really, really good. Add more liquid, more than you probably think you'll need because it needs to make up for what it's lost. So you need to stick more liquid in there, scrape it up, and hopefully that burn notice will go away. Issue number four. Now we're talking about liquid again, but this time we're talking about thick liquid. For example, like chili or stew. If there's not enough thin liquid, your pot can't pressurize. So the solution is to make sure that whether you, when you're adding really thick liquid, you have to add a little bit of water. So sometimes I'll make like a, a spaghetti sauce. That's one of our biggest issues with the burn is people are making spaghetti, but they don't add any liquid or water also to their spaghetti sauce. If you add a little bit of water, then you won't see the burn. Number five. Now there is another reason you could have a burn notice and it's not, it doesn't have anything to do inside of your pot. It's actually what's inside of the Instant Pot. So if for instance, you had a little bit of food spill out and it went into this main area, that, there's a good chance that that will also cause the burn notice. So if you've checked all these other things, make sure you lift this up and make sure there's no burning in here and then hopefully that will solve your problem. Issue number six. Now there's a very good chance you might have like a sensitive pot. I've had some people that tell me I've gotten the burn notice every single time that I use my Instant Pot. Sometimes something just doesn't sound right there. So whether they're either not adding enough liquid or it could possibly be something's wrong with your Instant Pot. So if you have issues and you've never been able to make something without the burn notice showing up, you might wanna contact Instant Pot, let them know, say, you know what, I see, I see the burn notice all the time and I'm doing all the things I'm supposed to. I mean, there's a very good chance you just kind of have a messed up pot. So if you are watching this because you have the burn notice right now, I highly suggest taking things out of your pot. Most likely you have something stuck onto the bottom. So take a wooden spoon, scrape it like crazy, clean the bottom of it. If sometimes I need to pour out all of my stuff and then scrape it really good, 
put it back, add more liquid, more liquid than you think you would need, and you can start cooking again. That way the burn notice will go away and you can finish cooking the food that you want done in time for dinner. All right, you guys, if you love this recipe, make sure you check out my other tips and tricks. I also have an instant pot for beginners that you can find right there. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.